Many thanks for coming on the program. Looking at the performance last week at the stock exchange, it appears financial stocks dragged everything down. What happened? Um, yes, indeed. The financial stocks seem to be controlling the activity from the Akrabas here. Um, last week, we had um, stocks like Hope Power Bank, Amateur Chartered Bank, and FIC Insurance um, Company all losing considerably on the market. And this is as a result of um, severe profit taking from um, from the birds because we have um, a horizon interest rate regime going on currently. You have interest rates on charging securities and alternative investment risk free investments rising. So you tend to see investors disinvesting from the stock market and putting their money in treasury bills and at a fixed point. How serious are the concerns about a tighter monetary policy, especially with inflation on the rise, like you mentioned? Just because of uh, very volatile um, exchange rates, as you said previously, the city has been very volatile this year. So, much of the measures that the central bank has introduced um, is trying to mop up excess liquidity in the system and um, tighten monetary policy. So, I mean, investors don't tend to hold their investments in dollars or in foreign exchange, but rather um, buy local currency and keep it in, in treasury bills instead. So it's part of the measures that the central bank is introducing, and that's what is driving interest rates up. All right, let's talk about the oil, the oil industry for a while. One is which the new boss at Ghana Oil Company appears to have brought in some con confidence, especially because this company was without a substantive MD for a while. Yeah, um, with Ghana Oil Company, uh, it rose by 2.12 percent last week, and been on a rally for some time now. Last week, it received. Um, uh, there was an appointment of a new MD and a new managing director for the company. And the company has been without a managing, substantive managing director for about four months now. So the news was well received by investors. And the fact that the new MD also has a very deep knowledge of the industry also gave um, investors some confidence. To add to that, um, the managing director made certain comments that were quite positive and investors took a cue from that to drive the stock upward. He made certain comments like um, he indicated that there would be expansion in the retail office of Ghana Oil Company, while the company was supposed to be diversifying its portfolio away from the regular oil marketing and into um, bunkering and engaging for supplies as well. So these were some of the comments that really um, drove the appetite for Ghana Oil Company stock. Derek, let's talk financial, uh, let's talk fixed income securities. The five-year bond was heavily oversubscribed. Is this the new darling for investors? Um, yeah, with the financial stocks, um, if I heard you right, um, the problem I'm, I'm the sorry, Derek, I was talking about the five-year bond, the five-year bond which was heavily oversubscribed. Okay, the five-year bond, I'm the line of the day. Uh, the five-year bond, it was, well, it was well subscribed. In fact, it was in 37 and I'm 107 percent subscribed, and was 37 percent subscribed by offshore investors. So um, with this the second bond that has been issued in the past month, the initial one was the two-year bond, which is also heavily oversubscribed, and the five-year bond as well. The only problem that we are facing now is because of the monetary policies and because of the volatile exchange rate, we happen to have investors wanting to buy this bond at relatively higher prices. So we saw the five-year bond increase to 26%, was at a yield of 26%, and previously the last five-year bond that we held was at an interest rate of 16%. So it's clearly that the cost of borrowing has grown considerably over the past 